Good afternoon. My name is Sagar. Can you tell me your full name, please? My name is Sostika Thapa. What can I call you? You can just call me Sostika. Okay, Sostika. So let's begin by talking about what you do, okay? Do you work or do you study? No, I have recently completed my plus two level and now I have a lot of free time and I have engaged in um, entrance preparation for my further study. So I am studying now. So what did you enjoy the most during your high school days? During my high school period, um, I, I used to um, uh, hang out with my friend during the weekend time. And uh, um, the main thing that I love about my school time was um, sport week. At that time, we used to play a lot of games uh, for the competition. So I like the sport week the most. So was there anything you did not enjoy in your high school? Main thing that I did not enjoy is um, <laughs> it's a <laughs> vacation homework and that they, they used to give a lot of homework to us uh, in the Dose vacation and in winter and also in summer even though we had a very short period of vacation I really don't like to do so much homework um, in my vacation so how many friends did you have during your high school days? A few selective ones or many friends? Well, I am a social person, so I have a quite a lot of friends around me um, during that period. But nowadays, um, they are quite far from me and nowadays I don't have more, much more friends as I used to have. Okay, so do you think friends from high school last for a long time? I don't think so, but uh, some of the, those uh, friends, um, they are all still connected with me uh, through the different me medias, social medias, and um, there is one friend who, who is connected to me, and we used to talk a lot about our experience to higher, higher secondary level, and um, we talk about our studies, etc. So did you enjoy your school days more than your high school days? Of course, yes. <laughs> In the school time, we we, we are um, not um, like uh, we are not bounded. Um, uh, uh, like uh, we have to, we have not to think about our future. But in the higher secondary level, we are preparing for our um, for our future level career to make our career. We are very much busy in our studies. But in the school time, we are free and we, we can do um, whatever we like. We have a certain time to study. So now let's talk about electronic devices for a while, okay? Okay. So do you use electronic devices? Yes, I often use electronic devices like um, mobile phones and um, other gadgets also. Among the mobile phone is the most that I always uh, use, I always like to use. So which age group in your country uses more electronic devices, the younger people or the older ones? Nowadays, uh, this kind of gadget has been popular between the young people because um, they, have, they are born in uh, this new modern technology and older people, they, they usually don't prefer those kind of things because they are um, not aware about those gadgets and they don't know how to um, use it. But um, younger people, they just can't live without these kind of so things. So what kind of benefits do you personally get by using such electronic devices? In my own experience, um, while using a um, mobile phone and surfing the different things in the internet, while, I'm, while I get confused um, in my study, then I have get benefited to know the different things um, that I don't know about my study. Um, and beside that, um, I have also learned a different thing about um, about the world. I can, um, I I think like I have um, I have the world world in my hand. With that mobile phone, I can get a very much more knowledge about different things. So, do you believe young kids these days use too much electronic devices? Of course, yes. Uh, in my own experience, uh, I have a little sister in my home. She don't eat um, food if she, do she does not see any kind of videos in the internet. So they are born, I think they are born with uh, those kind of things, you know, and um, 
and these days now these days um those gadgets are been very popular between them okay now let's move on to the second part of the test okay you okay. have to speak for two minutes so here's a piece of paper and a pen for you to take some notes you have one minute to do that and your topic today is to describe your dream house so you have your questions here you have one minute it begins now Okay, that's your time. Could you please start speaking? Okay, I'm going to describe about the dream house that I have thought of, thought about. Well, I'm thinking about a simple house uh, in a future um, with a with a various facilities. And the main thing that I like to um, see in my house is a um, garden because I'm a very I am very interested in garden and the variety of flowers grown over there and I want to build a house so in a peaceful area uh, far from the city areas where I can spend my days um, in, a, in a very good way, in a good mood and if I live in, I think if I live in these city areas I will ruin my health so in order to, in order to have a quality life and good health, I choose a place, um, Pokhara, which is far from this town and and there were uh, many facilities like um, transportation and um, no, sorry, transportation and uh, other other different things like education and we can um, get, uh, get other facilities like supermarkets over there and uh, and the thing that I want in my house, uh, like I want, I want to buy a car, which, which can help me for easy access to my work, or or any other things. I want to make a house um, by using uh, this modern technology, de new new decoration, and uh, uh, and want to make uh, rooms with uh, filled with marble. Oh, okay, that's your time. Yeah, can I have the question back, please? Okay, so let's keep talking about different types of houses, okay? So are houses in villages of your country different than the houses in cities? Yes, in my village, um, we can see the house that were built of um, mud and stone. And, um, and we can see f floor... Um, Floor that is um, that is also made made up of mud, but um, nowadays some of the house um, had been changed, but not almost all. In the city area, we can see the house made up of um, cement brick, uh, used of dif different kind of rugs, etc. Um, and and I think um, those kind of houses houses um, in the city area is um, is very much beneficial for. Uh, beneficial to cope with the natural calamities like earthquake which is recently taken place in our country and okay so do you think houses made in villages are better to live as a family than houses in the cities yes i think so because um, uh, the houses in the village areas um, uh, they are quite good looking uh, that they are made up made up of um, made up of uh, mud 
which, which can be beneficial for people in different ways. But I don't think uh, city houses are good for 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 settlement because. So how easy is it to find a place to live in the cities of your country? In the major cities like Kathmandu, it is very tough to get a place um, to live in. If you think about uh, about making house in these areas, then there there is no land left um, to make the house house in cities area and because of this uh, pollution and other different noises from vehicles mm, the life in cities area is very hard and it is very tough competition between the peoples um, to find a rent or to buy a house in these areas okay. so would you suggest that all people in your country would love to live in a bigger house rather than a smaller one there are many people um, who love to live in a bigger house because they do not want to um, place them in a small areas. They want to move here around their house and they want to decorate it as they want. But in if they had a small house or or, or a, with a small rooms, then they cannot um, design it as they like. They have to um, they have to make a make a they have to make a okay thank you that is the end of your speaking test okay thank you for watching the video guys if you enjoyed this one and would like to watch some more do make sure you subscribe to our channel hit that like button and leave some comments down below so that we can make videos according to your choices here are a few suggestions for you guys to have a look Thank you very much for watching it once again. I'll see you in my next video.